Hello and welcome to the Project Planner. By using the scheduling tool, it is possible to publish a newly created task schedule throughout the Work Engine solution. After publishing, the task schedule and any values entered into the Project Planner will appear in the Project Homepage, in Overview, in the Task Center, under Assignments, and in My Work at both the Workspace level and at the top of the Site Collection. The complete process of building a task schedule, saving, and publishing has been made possible right within the Project Planner. Additionally, the Project Planner enables the Project Manager to approve and or reject any updated tasks made by team members when using the Process Update feature inside the Project Planner. The steps involved in creating a project schedule in the Project Planner include creating a task schedule, adding durations, adding work hours, linking the tasks, assigning resources, saving, and finally publishing. Let's start with adding a summary task. It is possible to build a task schedule with groups. These groups are created by using summary tasks, which then make it possible to expand or collapse the sections of a task schedule. To add a summary task, simply click the summary task icon located up on the ribbon. Next, type over the default name. Below a summary task lives its subtasks. To add a subtask, click the task icon located up on the ribbon. Once you've added the subtask, type the name in the grid below the summary task. From here, proceed to adding additional tasks. A milestone indicates an important point in the schedule has been reached. A milestone is noted by having a zero duration. To add a milestone, click the milestone icon located on the ribbon and then proceed to type the milestone name. Next, we are ready to indent our subtasks and milestone. By using our shift key and selecting our subtasks and milestones, we are now able to indent our work items. By using the indent icon up on the ribbon, we can now clearly identify our summary tasks, subtasks, and milestones. We can clearly identify these as one group that is collapsible and expandable. Once your summary tasks, tasks, and milestones have been added, it's time to add durations and work in the corresponding grids to the right. Duration is equal to the anticipated days to complete a task. To add durations, type the number of days anticipated to complete the task in the associated grid. Work is equivalent to hours. Type the number of hours anticipated to complete the, the task in the corresponding grid. By linking tasks, we can visualize the project length reflected in the Gantt chart as well as in the date fields. To link tasks, use your Shift key to select adjacent tasks, plus the link icon located up on the ribbon. It is here that the relationship type can be changed, as well as the addition of any lag or lead days. Once our links have been added, it's time to assign resources. Assigning resources is done by selecting the names from the drop-down options in the corresponding grid. Here it is possible to select All On or to select from the drop-down options. Once you've completed building your task schedule and assigning resources, it's necessary to save. To do so, simply click the Save option located up on the ribbon. After saving, you have the option to close the schedule and return later when you're ready to publish, or publish before closing. For this demonstration, I will be publishing the task schedule. Publishing takes the entire schedule and pushes it throughout the Work Engine solution. To publish, click the Publish icon located up on the ribbon. Then wait for the queued status to complete.
After the queued status completes, to return to the project homepage, click the close icon located up on the ribbon. It is now possible to see all the values entered in the project planner in the Home tab, in Overview, in My Work, in Tasks and Assignments. As team members update their tasks in My Work, these updates can be pulled into the project planner by using the Process Update feature. It is here that the project manager can approve or reject the updates made by the team members. This built-in approval process lives within the project planner and appears directly under the ribbon. Upon entering the project planner, the notification of updates waiting to be approved is displayed beneath the ribbon. By clicking the Process Update link, these updates can be approved or rejected. To the view the details of any task, simply double-click on the task name. Scroll through to view the individual details. It is now possible for the project manager to accept or reject the updates made by the team member at the task level after viewing the details of the individual task update. To do so, simply check the corresponding boxes for the items to be accepted or rejected. Click Process when done. It is important to save any accepted or rejected updates. Lastly, these up updates need to be pushed back throughout the solution, and this is completed by clicking the Publish icon located up on the ribbon. Success will be visible as new values will override the existing ones throughout the solution. For more information, please visit the EPM Live online tutorial or join us for an e-learning class.